All right. Oh. oh Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, so next up we have Seitaro Yuki talking about building a web application with continuation monads. Oh, today we introduce how to construct web application with continuation uh, monads. Today agenda is summarized in the foreign First, we will introduce of Duang as that I work for. And the service called Nico Nico uh, that Duang has managed. Then we will point out problems of the component technologies of existing uh, web applications. Next, we will explain the method to construct web application with continuation monads. And uh, we update uh, the components to index continuation monads. Hmm. First, we describe Duang and Nico Nico. Uh, Duang is a company that operates the Nico Nico that is a video sharing and live streaming platform. Uh, Nico Nico has uh, 50 million accounts and 2.5 million of premium members uh, who pay uh, 500 Japanese yen a month. So it has been known as one of most major uh, media streaming services in Japan. Uh, Duang also as a company that uh, adapt functional programming language has been known in Japan. Because uh, Duang is using a variety of functional programming language such as Scala uh, and Aron. So I joined uh, Duang as a Scala specialist and writing the Japanese Scala Text book for in-house training, and we publish this text book to GitHub. Uh, in this presentation, I want to talk about the account system of Nico Nico. Duang uh, has a variety of services uh, such as eBooks and slash service uh, as a learn video sharing and video st uh, live streaming. Uh, but the functionality of users information has been aggregated into the account system. The task of the account system are such as following uh, user registration, user authentication, acquisition, and editing of user information. The account system is for various services and they have many devices. Therefore, the account system is required various interface. So we want to decompose the large web application into component and want to reuse and assemble them. Then we look at uh, the existing component technology. For example, there is a method called do filter in Java server filter. Uh, this method takes a request parameter and after some processing for request, uh, the method run chain by passing request. Then it does the further processing on returned response from chain. 
If you want to create a new servlet filter, you should implement this to filter method. You can put preprocessing uh, before calling next chain. You can also put post processing after calling the next chain. We are the functionality to we have application to combine a priority of such processing. This nested structure can be seen in various languages such as WSGI or Python and uh, lack of Ruby. Uh, let's look at the code Java again. Uh, this filter method doesn't have much information on type and parameters. We don't know what kind of parameter is passing the, the next component, what combination of components can be. So we introduce components uh, we have application using continuation monads. Before our uh, explanation of uh, continuation monads, I would like to mention about continuation. The continuation presents the rest of computation at the given point of execution. In this figure, A is some point of execution. R is the uh, result of whole competition. And that means A to R is the continuation at A. Next, we, we see the continuation monads. Continuation monads can be expressed in just four lines of a Scala program. With records the pre previous figure of continuation in this code, a time parameter A means a value in given point of execution. A parameter A means a result of this monad. A function of A to R means a continuation at A. Thus, continuation mode constructor converts a function that receive the continuation to a monad. Let's try make a web application with continuation monads. First, we write uh, the authentication verification component with continuation monads. Uh, it assumes that a user login elsewhere and their session in HTTP cookie before the operation. And this component stores the session information in server streets such as Redis. The component compares the cookie information and the server information to check whether authenticated. If the session is correct, then components pass the session information to next one. Otherwise, it's redirect login form. The authentication verification can be expressed in this sequence diagram. If verific verification succeed, the component execute next one. Otherwise, redirect. When we write this component in Scala, it like this. It like this. In this code, in this code, read the uh, session ID from cookie function. Take a session ID from cookie in the request. A uh, session from readers function take a session information from readers using session ID. Yeah. Using these two functions, we can verify whether the request is authenticated. Uh, we apply these two functions to request, then if the result was sent, then verification succeeds. 
a login, uh, a redirect login function returns a response that redirects uh, a login form. If in a verify auth function, a variable k that has a type of session to response is a continuation. When verification succeeds, then the continuous k is executed. Otherwise, a redirect login form function is executed. Next, we write compression component with continuous monad. The compression component doesn't do anything to request. Uh, and this component will exp uh, uh, and this component will uh, compress a response only if the request has accept encoding header. The compression component can be expressed in this sequence. Uh, the component does not do to request. If there uh, accept encoding header in the request, the component compress the response. Otherwise, doesn't compress, uh, doesn't compress it. When we write this component in Scala in same, in same way, uh, it like this. Uh, in this code, read accept encoding function take a value of accept encoding header in the request. ZD uh, function compress the response. In a compress function, a variable k has a type of unit to response is a continuation. The compress function checks whether a response is needed to compress using the, the accept encoding function. The compress function retrieves the uh, response by learning k. And when accept encoding hit the content zip, the compress function compress the response. If doesn't, if uh, the compress function doesn't do anything, the response. So we make a uh, uh, so we make the authentication verification component and compression component with continuation model. Next, we construct these components using four expression in Scala that is used for combining models. In this code, it's assumed that main processing function is a core part of web application. We can combine the function, verify auth, compress, and main processing using for expression. In this type, it is easy to understand the interaction of parameter between the com components. And you can assemble the various components flexible. Components of continuation monads are very useful, but there are issues that type of response is fixed. For example, we consider a component that, con uh, that transforms the response in JSON or XML according to accept hit in the request. In this code, did accept function take a value of accept header in the request? And to, to JSON or XML function transform response using to JSON and to XML functions. But we can compile this code because to, func uh, to JSON function and the continuation model have different result type. So we'd like to update our component to index continuation models. Con uh, 
Index monad is a monad hazard. Another type parameter can be changed. We can deal with change in the parameter of monad using index monad. For example, index state monad can change type of state. In this figure, add type parameter O means the result type of continuation. Unlike normal continuation monads, O can be different from R, that means the whole result type. Uh, code of index continuation monad almost the same as normal continuation monad, expect to additional type type parameter O and type of flat math. Uh, and we think that a uh, convariant map function to be fair with a map function. Uh, using uh, index continuation monads, we can combine monads have different result type. Let's see the example of index continuation model component. Uh, unlike previous example, we can deal with entity as uh, entity has a type of intermediate result with continuation monad, uh, index continuation monad. And we can use counter-variant map in the conversion process of the response. Uh, conclusion, we have seen the construction of web, of web application using continuation monads. Uh, com component continuation monads are flexible to compose and easy to understand unlike a Java Silverlet filter. And we are updating our component to index continuation monad DOS, the change of the result type of continuation. Thank you. Uh, hello. Uh, hello, uh, I've seen that, uh, for example, the compression monad uh, does some behavior depending on the cookie. If I had to design that, I would think that first I have a, a microservice that could parse the whole request. And then if I have that cookie, then I use the, the compression monad and so. Is there any reason uh, for the, this process not to be decoupled so the compression monad and other continuation monads knows about cookies concept. Uh, uh, I have poor English, uh, so maybe, uh, I can understand your question. Uh, to, uh, well, my, I don't know my Japanese. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, sorry. Tabun, um, continuation monads wa, コキのコンセプトあ、あ、わか、わかれ、かなわかれ、かれまならないならなくて、それじゃ多分、あ、コンプレッションモナとは、あ、アクセプティングコキーことわかるけど、私はえっとデザインデザインをしなければならなくて、
have. All right, so uh, now we have lunch and we're starting.